What's up guys, welcome back to the Big Logan channel. I am your host, Big Logan. So today we're building another workbench. Today we're doing a built-in corner workbench, two by fours, plywood, budget friendly, and we've got a TV and LED light bars going in. And before we get to it, we are also gonna finish up with cabinet fronts. So all that and more on today's episode, let's get started. All right, guys, so here's the 3D design of Mike's garage and his workbench in all our glory. So it's going to be a 10 foot by 8 foot L shaped built in. And uh, to refine our man cave uh, for Mike here, we're going to add those 45s on the floating shelf and on the workbench top. That way you can scoot in a stool, prop up, and watch some TV or do some YouTube research. Uh, we're also going to trim out and place in a dorm fridge. So for that quick grab of a uh, refreshing beverage, whenever you're doing your hard work on this workbench or tinkering around, it's always good to have those handy. So we're also going to do a shaker door front here. So this is going to be five doors. We're going to range those in size so you can get some wider materials in here. These will be three foot roughly in width and then two foot roughly in width for these three. So the material drop from this plywood uh, workbench top will go to get ripped down into four inch strips to make these shaker fronts. So we're not going with the premium pine by any means. Again, you know, it's a garage workbench. It's a man cave. So we're just gonna use some drop from the existing materials we have and save some money there. So one other thing we have to take into consideration for Mike's garage is his breaker panel. So we are building into the corner where the breaker panel resides. Probably gonna have to modify the floating shelf a little bit to facilitate the wires that are running uh, to and from the house. And then uh, we need to drive this workbench high enough, uh, or I'm sorry, the floating shelf high enough to allow the circuit breaker door to swing open. Uh, we also wanna make sure we can access the hardware to completely remove the panel front um, to do any type of maintenance or additions to uh, circuits there. So that's the 3D design. If you guys are new to the channel, I always break down the workbench in a 2D fashion just to give you a basic idea uh, structurally of what we're getting ready to do. So it's a 24 inch workbench top. That's made efficiently so you can rip a four foot by eight foot sheet of plywood down and use it economically there. Um, Mike, we're gonna do a 40 inch, and this is a really good average height, 40 inch workbench top. Again, by cutting your stud length height here for your vertical structure, you can drive that uh, workbench height to whatever you desire. So you can make this custom to you. We're gonna do a 24 inch uh, tall shelf inside that T structure. And then uh, again, we're gonna do a 12 inch floating shelf uh, total dimension up top here. So Mike's working with all concrete, so we're gonna use concrete anchors, concrete nails, or a variety of those for the uh, assembly of this. But keep in mind, you may only need construction screws if you're going into wood substrate. So this is the first for Big Logan Channel, but I am gonna to put together materials list. So this compiles everything, even on the optional list that I sent Mike to the store to get. Again, if you're not doing uh, masonry work, then you're not gonna to need to get wedge anchors, masonry bits, if you're not going to do a drawer front, you can eliminate the two uh, 3 8 by uh, 4 by 8 foot sheet of plywood. So these can come off the list and you can upgrade your 1 quarter inch plywood um, sheet to two. And again, keep that in mind, that's for a 10 foot by 8 foot built in L shaped workbench with the floating shelf. So we got all the materials. I'm heading to Mike's and we're going to get this day started. Let's do it. All right, so we're ready to go here. Everything's cleaned up. And just like the last time, we're gonna build the vertical two sections here. So we're gonna finish out at 40 inches tall for this workbench, exactly 40, right under that outlet. Seven inch stack up, just like in the 2D design. So we're gonna cut in 33 inch vertical pieces here to build out the six foot section and the 10 foot section. Let's do it. We gotta work on Mike's uh, <laughs> selection of hardware. Check out that bad boy. Looks like a recurve bell. Ten foot run, mini fridge, one, two, three drawers and shelving. 20 inches out from the wall, right there is our marks. 
All right, so we're gonna pre-drill for the concrete masonry nails. These, we're pre-drilling with the Tapcom 316s drill bit and then we're gonna send the old spikes back in. These things work great. Pound them in right over the bottom there. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Know that one angled in a little bit. All right, so don't go with the grain of the wood for this. You wanna go with the grain like that. That way it doesn't split this. Okay. And Mike is wearing safety glasses too. Safety first, then teamwork. <laughs> Butter. So much better. That's tighter than two coats of paint, bub. I'll say. <laughs> Brian's the cut guy. How straight are they? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is where we're gonna butt up against our 10 foot rock. So we're adding another one here for a nailer for hinges because we are doing drawers on this unit like we talked about. So, one, two, three, four, five actually on the workbench. Well, quit standing around, boys. Let's get yeah. to her. <laughs> Whack it, tack it, let's get at it. Mine is like on rapid fire here. Oh my God. How's old Milwaukee treating you? Oh, pretty good, man. They're still trusty as ever. Tighter than skin on the grape. <laughs> Nailer for these nice big 35 inch drawers. By design, 35ers. <laughs> yeah, we only got 10 hinges, so we'll let it ride, Clyde. This board is intentionally sideways to mate up with this right here. We can just go like this. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Tap that in right to our 20 inch dimension from the wall. Oh yeah. The dogs are barking. Yeah. Time for some nails, eh? We are full-fledged under construction on the workbench top portion now. So Mike has the breaker box there and the OSB coming off the wall a little bit. So this isn't necessary for every build, but because we have that, we're backing that two inches away from the wall to clear that. So that'll start the long 10 foot run and then we'll L right off of this and go with our six foot piece. So we'll have to rearrange here and build away. Let's get to it. This is again that bump out for us. Right over by the breaker. You guys ready to carry her in? That's looking good. So this is all just floating here right now. So what we're gonna do is toenail screws in because this is gonna drive the exact workbench height. And then we'll put a level here and we're gonna send in the anchor wedges into the block. All that and more coming on the Big Logan channel. Hey, if you guys haven't already, take the time to subscribe. Smash that like button, comment below. We'd love to talk to you guys. Thank you. So this is called a toenail screw. For those of you who aren't familiar, a toenail is just going to take a start of an angle and then drive in from the sides. All the way around, that's going to lock in that workbench top, ain't it, Brian? That's right. I'm just here for the free food. <laughs> so what we're doing is putting in pre-drilled holes for the anchor wedges. Wedge anchors, as some others call them. I'm gonna show you a bigger one. I brought them that I have left over from a project. This is a half inch wedge anchor. So what this does is goes into your concrete substrate. See how this is like a moving collar? Whenever you tighten this nut down, it wants to pull this back out. This wedge is in and then spreads out. So we're doing 3 8 wedge anchors. So we need a 3 8 inch masonry bit and preferably a hammer drill. So a little more complicated to go into the block versus the stud on your back wall, but we're gonna make it happen. So let's go check in.
status update. So we tried three sixteenths by two and three quarter tap comms into the porous concrete of the block. We were trying to be optimistic that they would work and not pull out. No go. So we have plenty of three eighths anchor wedges. There you go. Thanks, sir. So we're just gonna run these to do our back shelving boards inside the workbench here. So we need a single run two by four, which you can see here, basically a back plate over here and over here. And then we'll do a front plate against the actual vertical structure of the two by fours. And then we'll set our shelf top right on there. Same thing for the floating shelf coming up momentarily. Winning. All right. Nice floating shelf. Pre drilling for the anchor wedge. Throwing chips and packing lips. Rod and lightning, baby. Don't worry about me, guys. I'm just holding up the whole floating shelf. Man, this is the dream team right here. Check that out, guys. I don't know how we got so good. That's the dream team right here. Yeah, Mikey and Brian, dude. Sending it. Another anchor wedge pressed in nice to the wood, and it is looking good. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh what my is God. all that? Mike, are these your Seagrams? <laughs> <laughs> you to have it to hold and to keep your beer cold. All right, so the mini fridge is in. Now let's do the workbench top. Oh, it's, it's kind is of it? perfect anyways. Yeah. That's how we designed it. Eight foot workbench. Enough said. To the chopping block. This way, boys. All right, check it out. We got Better Homes and Gardens. This is from Walmart in the US. 16 foot flat LED strip. And a roll of Scotch mount double-sided tape and anything 3M product, we trust that. So it's going up all along here. Let's get to it. Ta-da! 16 foot LED strip, but literally just a little bit. I'll put one right here too, at the very start and the very end. So that little Better Homes Walmart brand LED light strip, it was just a, a daylight color. Man, it is brightening up the workspace. It is awesome, it's very balanced. It looks awesome, guys. And Brian put this Bluetooth speaker underneath the 45. And then we got the TV up top. This is turning out to be a pretty sweet man cave station. Fridge, TV, Bluetooth speaker, LED light bar. It's rocking and rolling. So this is the trim out for the workbench. All right, we're gonna tack that in all the way down, then do these drawer fronts. Okay, so all our drop from doing the plywood workbench top, we ripped these down to four inch sections. So these are gonna make our shaker fronts for all these cabinets to beautifully and ornately trim them out. Right around here. We're gonna box those in, shaker them out, close this project out. Let's get to it.
Well, that wraps up this project. But hey, come join the Big Logan channel today as we create, build, explore, and laugh and have fun all along the way. You guys take care. Peace. Peace.